Hi, welcome to Hyperion Financial Management Demo. Oracle Hyperion Financial Management is a comprehensive web-based application that delivers global financial consolidation, reporting and analysis in a single highly scalable software solution. Oracle Financial Management utilizes today's most advanced technology yet is built to be owned and maintained by the enterprise's finance team. The course objectives. After completing this tutorial, you should be able to describe financial management, define applications, discuss how to enter and calculate data, explain how to enter intercompany data, describe journal entries and the journal review process, discuss methods of consolidating data, explain how to analyze and enter data in SmartView, and describe how to view financial reports. And main, mainly financial reports are not included in the Hyperion Financial Management tutorial training sessions but this is how it uh, happens in how to describe the view of uh, financial reports. Now, introduction to financial management. The financial management is a comprehensive web-based application that enables you to manage enterprise financial information quickly and cost effectively. It delivers global data collection financial consolidation, reporting and analysis in a single highly scalable solution. With financial management, you can reduce your consolidation and reporting cycles, conduct in-depth analysis of key performance and operational metrics, deliver accurate and timely reports to both internal management and external regulatory bodies, discover sources of profitability and cash flow. Financial management enables highly efficient collection and consolidation of data from diverse sources. It includes the following features. The process management for tight control of review and approval process, data validation, currency translation to support multiple local currencies in the application, automatic eliminations for intercompany transactions. Financial management tasks follow a typical task flow for a monthly or a quarterly life cycle. First, load or enter data using forms or grids. Second, calculate data. Third, adjust data with journals. And fourth, translate and consolidate data. Once translating and consolidating the data, the approval will review the data and approve it. And then, the administrator will log the data and run and publish the financial reports. Financial management uses multi-dimensional processing. This is different from the transactional processing that enterprise resource planning mainly call as ERP systems use. Transactional processing is designed to store and retrieve transactional information as quickly as possible. Data is usually stored in relational tables consisting of rows and columns linked together by using a primary and secondary case. But this type of processing is good for quickly storing and retrieving data. However, because the data is stored in a separate tables without hierarchy or relationship, complex queries are required for analysis of the data. So, financial management now uses multi-dimensional processing. This is different from the transactional processing that enterprise resource planning use. Multi-dimensional processing provides detailed analysis of your data. Data is organized into dimensions based on your organization's analysis requirements such as product line, markets, and geographical region. These data points are organized into data cubes and each intersection in the cube represents a specific data point. This structure enables you to query and report on data much more quickly. Coming to dimensions. Dimensions describe an organization's data and, and usually contains groups of related members. Examples of dimensions are account, entity, and period. The elements that comprise a dimension are called members. For example, gross margin and total revenue are members of the account dimension. Members of a dimension are arranged in hierarchies in a dimensions. 
So upper level members are called parent members. A member immediately below a parent member is called referred to as its child. All members below a parent are referred to as descendants. The bottom level members of a hierarchy are called base level members. Data is typically loaded into base level members of dimensions, not into parent members. Values for parent level members are aggregated or rolled up from the children of the parent level members. In this example, data is loaded to the base level members, sales, other revenues and salaries. The data values are then rolled up into total revenue and total costs. Data values from total revenue and total costs are then rolled up to their parent gross margin. Financial management supplies eight system di defined dimensions and four custom dimensions. You customize the members of each dimension to meet the needs of your organization. The account dimension is the hierarchy of natural accounts which is called as chart of accounts. Natural accounts store financial data for entities and scenarios in an application. Each account has an account type such as revenue, expense, asset, liabilities, which defines its accounting behavior. The intercompany partner dimension contains intercompany account balances. Financial management can track and eliminate intercompany transaction details across entities and accounts. In addition to the eight system defined dimensions, financial management supplies four custom dimensions. You use these dimensions to store additional details such as products, markets, channels and customers. You can assign aliases to custom dimensions to clarify the use of each dimension. So, how do you close the process? Financial management can also be used in conjunction with two complementary products financial close management and disclosure management to manage the extended close process. So financial close management provides process monitoring, a financial close calendar and close task management with email and alerts. Disclosure management enables organizations to centralize and effectively manage development of XBRL tagged submissions required by many regulatory bodies, for example, a 10K or 10Q submitted to the SEC. So to summarize the introduction, you will be able to define financial management, dimensions and multidimensional processing and the hierarchies of the dimensions, system defined dimensions in financial management and extended financial cross process. Coming to the navigating financial management. Financial management integrates application creation and management in a centralized administration environment. You use the following components to create and access enterprise performance management. Oracle Enterprise Performance Management Workspace Fusion Edition, mainly called as Workspace, is a web client that provides the user interface for viewing and interacting with content created with Oracle Hyperion EPM applications. So the Oracle Hyperion EPM application main, mainly consists of financial management, SBase, planning, whatever it may be, the Hyperion suite of products. Oracle Hyperion Enterprise Performance Management Architect Fusion Edition, performance management architect mainly called as, enables users to create, manage and deploy applications. Financial management applications enable users to enter and retrieve financial management data. So these all will be done in through a centralized repository called Workspace. So this is how uh, the uh, Workspace looks in the web. So the first screen uh, you see, you need to enter the Workspace URL and then you need to give the credentials to the Workspace. Once you log in, the first screen will appear as Workspace, the front page and when you click on the applications it opens the application page in the workspace okay and these are the several uh, menus available in financial management workspace so that user can use all those workspace provides several ways to select tasks and documents toolbars buttons open delight boxes to manage documents task lists and favorites 
The view pane enables you to display either the documents and tasks or the task list for an application. The menu bar contains commands in form of drop down list. The content pane is the main display area in workspace. The application tabs display the open applications. The navigate menu enables you to access applications. In financial management, all data is processed within applications. An application is related set of dimensions and dimension members that meet a specific set of analytical or reporting requirements. For example, you can have one application for task data and another application for sales analysis. Your access financial management from server clusters. Server clusters improve performance by sharing the workload among a group of servers. The managed document space provides a central, central location from which you can manage documents and applications. Task lists provide quick access to frequently used tasks and documents. Data forms enables you to enter data for predefined views, such as specific periods and accounts. Data grids enable you to use a spreadsheet-like interface to enter, edit, and view data in financial management applications. Reporting enables you to view various financial management reports, such as general reports and intercompany matching reports. The Manage Document task provides a central location from which you can manage documents and applications. Links enable you to create or access links to files or web pages. Related content enables you to incorporate workspace content directly into your financial management task list. Custom documents enable you to attach one or more documents to cells in data, grids, data forms, and process management cells. The view pane is displayed on the left side of the financial management web page. The view can be one of the following. The project view and a browser view. Project view lists the available task list. A task list is a predefined list of related tasks or documents that you can access frequently. You can expand a task list to show its contents. Browser view is all accessible documents which lists all accessible documents and tasks in financial management for which the user has security privileges. It is a split pane. The bottom pane reflects the contents of the item selected in the top pane. You can double click an item in the bottom pane to view it the content area on the right hand side. Task lists minimize the effect that you spend on navigating among various sections of financial management. Task list contains items and tasks that you use frequently such as data forms, data grids and reports. For example, you could set up a task list for monthly close with the following tasks. Enter into company data and data forms, review balances in reports, consolidate data to parent entities in a data grid and run reports. So to summarize, you can enumerate the components of financial management and how to log into workspace and financial management, open a financial management application and uh, describe the areas of the financial uh, workspace interface, identify the documents that you can access in the manage document panel, explain how to navigate the view pane, describe task lists. Performance Management Architect is a component of Oracle's EPM system that enables administrators to create, manage, and deploy Oracle Financial Hyperion applications with a single interface. Performance Management Architect is integrated with Financial Management, Hyperion Planning, S-Base, and Hyperion Profitability and Cost Management Fusion Edition. You can design applications graphically for all of these products in a single environment. Performance Management Architect has the following modules, Dimension Library, Application Library, and Calculation Manager. Dimension Library is a centralized location to manage dimensions and dimension properties. Application Library presents a summary of applications that were created or deployed or both. And Calculation Manager is a graphical rules editor that enables you to create, validate, and deploy business rules and business rule sets. Performance Management Architect has the following modules, Data Synchronization, Application Upgrade, and Job Console. So, Data Synchronization enables you to create data synchronization between Oracle Hyperion applications. For example, an administrator synchronizes data between two financial management applications or between one financial management and one planning application. So, Upgrade is mainly a utility that enables upgrades from previous releases. 
and job console is a console that provides a summary of dimensional library or application library activities. You use performance management architect to create applications and manage the dimensions required by applications. After you create an application, it is displayed in application library. You validate and deploy applications from application library. You can also view the status of application in application library. You manage the dimensions for applications in dimension library. You can also create applications directly in financial management by using classic administration, which is a Windows 32 application. In performance management architect dimensions within a win are either local or shared. Local dimensions are maintained within a single application, adding or removing dimension members or changing member properties has no effect on dimensions in other applications or in a shared library. Shared dimensions are available to all applications and can be individually linked to one or more applications when included in each application as a shared dimension. Changes made to the dimension in shared library are automatically inherited to every application sharing that dimension. You can change local dimensions to shared dimensions in dimension library. You create financial management application by using application creation wizard to perform the following tasks. Create the application shell. Add local or shared dimensions to the application. Modify the application settings such as create dimension associations or edit editing the application properties. Validate and deploy the application. So after creating an application, you validate and then deploy it. When you validate an application, the system ensures the presence of all required dimensions and other required information to deploy the application. When you deploy an application, the system creates the application on the financial management application server. The application is then accessible to end users. You can also redeploy a previously deployed application. A redeployment merges or replaces the application metadata based on the changes since the last deployment. So to summarize, describe performance management architect. Differentiate between local and shared dimensions. How to create performance management architect applications. Describe how to validate and deploy applications. So coming to loading and entering data. After creating a financial management application, you populate the application with financial data. You can load data from the following sources. ERP systems such as Oracle eBusiness Suite and PeopleSoft Enterprise Financial Management, flat files or extract files, Excel spreadsheets through SmartView, financial management data forms, and data grids. You integrate financial management with your ERP systems by using Oracle Financial Management Data Quality Management, mainly called as FDM. FDM provides a systematic process for loading source data from desperate systems into target analytical applications. ERP Integrator is a module of FDM that enables users to integrate an ERP source system into an EPM target application. You can integrate metadata and data from the ERP source system into an EPM target application and drill through from the EPM target system to view data in the ERP system backwards. You can load data to your financial management application by creating or extracting data files. You create data files in an ASCII format supporting multi-byte character sets MBCS or a file encoded with the Unicode format. A data file can contain these sections, column order, view, data, and line item detail. The column order specifies the order in which dimension members are displayed. You can change the column order to meet your needs, and you can specify multiple column order sections in the data file. Specifies, view specifies the default view for all data following it. You can specify multiple view sections in the data file. Each section must starts with a valid view dimension. Coming to data, 
which specifies numeric amounts for valid input cells. If accounts do not accept line item detail, you must load data into them. Line item detail. You load line item detail to accounts that support line item detail and are valid dimension combinations. A line item is represented by a delimited pair that consists of a description and a value. When you load data files, you select one of the following load options. Merge, Replace or Accumulate. Merge overrides the data in the application with the data in the load file. Replace replaces the data in the application with the data in the load file. The system clears all corresponding values from the application and then loads the value from the data file. Accumulate Accumulates the data in the application with the data in the load file. For each unique point of view that exists in the data file and in the application, the load file value is added to the application value. Let us see in detail. So, you let's look at some examples of data loads to better understand the load options. Select the merge options to override the application data with the load file data. Application data that is not changed by the data load files remains in the application. In this example, the application has values for sales and returns. And the load file has values for sales and purchases. When you load the data, the following operation takes place when you click on Merge. The value for sales is overwritten by the value in the data file, so which is 50. The value for return remains in the application, which is 20. The value for purchases is overwritten by the value in the data file, which is 30. Coming to replace. So, same example. The value for sales is overwritten by the value in the data file, which is 50. The value of returns is cleared from the application, so which, which becomes no data for returns once you use the replace option. The value for purchase is all returned by the value in the data file, which is 30. Coming to accumulate. The application has values for sales and returns, and the load file has values for sales and purchase. When you load data, the value of the load file are added to the application values. So sales becomes 150, which is 100 plus 50. Returns becomes 20. Purchases becomes 30. In addition to loading data files, you can use data grids to enter, view, and edit data in a spreadsheet like layout. You can also use data grids to calculate, translate, and consolidate data. Before you enter data in a data grid, you must select dimensions and dimension member list to display on the rows and columns of the grid. You can move dimensions to one of these areas, rows, columns, and page. Rows. Dimension is displayed in the grid rows. The dimension columns. The dimension is displayed in the grid columns. Page. The dimension is displayed in the POV toolbar above the grid. So, data grid provides a spreadsheet like user interface for entering and submitting data. The color of the cells is usual, is a visual guide to the cells content. Orange cells contain invalid intersection of dimension members. An invalid intersection occurs when you select an invalid custom dimension for an account. Light yellow cells accept data entry. Dark yellow cells contain data that was modified but not saved. Green cells contain calculated data. These cells are read-only. After entering data, you click the Submit Data button to save the changes to the database. Your application can include calculation rules that are not based on parent-child relationship. For example, you can create a rule to calculate the value of the price account by dividing the sales account by the unit sold account. Values for accounts are not calculated automatically when data is saved. You must use the calculate option to calculate values for these accounts. So data forms are templates with predefined rows and columns where users can input and view specified data elements. Unlike a data grid, a data form rows and columns cannot be added or removed. Data forms have three sections that are used to enter, edit, and view data. 
use the POV toolbar to select the members for which you want to enter or edit data. Use the buttons on the toolbar primarily to submit, refresh and calculate data. Use the form area to enter or edit data. So coming to the differences of data grids and data forms. Although both the data grids and data forms are used for entering data, there are some fundamental differences between them in the following areas. Creating the grid or form, selecting the dimension members, entering data. Users can create grids in an application. Only your financial management administrator has rights to create data forms in an application. You can select the dimension for the rows and columns of the grid. You can also choose the dimension members for the selected dimensions. Only your administrator can select the dimensions and dimension members for the rows and columns of the forms. You can enter data in the parent level members of the period dimension and then spread the data among the children. You can enter data only in the base level members of the period dimension whereas in data forms. So to summarize, describe how financial management can be integrated with ERP systems. Identify methods of for loading data into an application. Describe data grids and data forms and differences between data grids and data forms. Coming to management, managing intercompany data and journals. A transaction between two entities in an organization is an intercompany transaction. The following example illustrates this process. The each sales entity make a sale to an external customer. Second, this goods, the goods are shipped from a separate internal entity West Factory to the customer. And then West Factory sends an intercompany invoice to each sales for the goods that West Factor shipped. So entities that conduct intercompany transactions are known as intercompany partners. So East sales and West, West Factory are intercompany partners, which are called as ICPs. So how do you eliminate the intercompany transactions? Intercompany transactions produce intercompany account balances. To avoid overstatement, you must eliminate intercompany account balances before external financial statements are generated. During data consolidation, financial management automatically eliminates intercompany balances at the first common parent of the intercompany partners. For this example, East Sales leased equipment with $1,500 from Plant One. <coughs> when data is consolidated, the intercompany account balances for the rental expense and rental revenue intercompany accounts are eliminated at the first common parent called the USA entity. In financial management, you can enter intercompany data in a data form or a data grid. To enter intercompany data, you specify both an entity and an intercompany partner. During a financial period, you may need to adjust data after it is entered or loaded. The adjustments may be due to require reclassification of an entry, a directive from management or an input error. In financial management, you use journals to make these adjustments. Journals provide an audit trail of changes made in the application and indicate the accounts, entities and periods that were affected. Financial management journals enable you to perform the following tasks. Create double-sided journal entries by using debits and credits. Balance entries or permit single-sided out-of-balance entries. Create recurring journals that repeat for a number of future periods. Create auto-reversing journals. Auto-reversing journals generate an automatic reversing entry in the following time period. After creating journals and entering journal data, you must submit them to your supervisor for approval. So after your supervisor approves the journal, you can post it to the financial management database. So you follow this process for posting a journal. First, the user submits journals one at a time or in batches. Second, the system changes the status of journal from working to submit it. A reviewer approves or rejects the journal. And then finally, if the journal is approved, the user can post it to the financial management database. You use the process journals page to submit or unsubmit a journal for approval. 
in workspace approve or reject journal and to post or unpost the journal to the database you can also delete journals when you unpost a post journal the system creates reversing journal entries in the database and changes the status of the journal to reject it you can process multiple journals at the same time you can use the data grid to view the journal adjustments made to the accounts for an entity you view these adjustments by using the value dimension by changing the value dimension in the point of view you can view the following general information entity currency entity currency adjustments entity currency total so entity currency enables to view the pre adjustment balance entity currency adjustment enables to view the adjustment amount and entity currency total enables you to view the post adjustment balance summarize you describe intercompany transactions and how to eliminate the intercompany transactions describe journals and how to submit and post journals and view journals in a data grid consolidation is a process of gathering data from descendants and aggregating the data to parent entities consolidation applies only to entity dimension after loading or entering data into base level entities you run a consolidation for a selected scenario and period to aggregate data throughout the organization when you consolidate an entity the process that are required for the descendants of the entity run automatically calculation rules are run for all descendants of the entity for the period being consolidated and for all prior periods if the data for the child and parent entities are in different currencies the data is translated based on the exchange rate intercompany transactions between entities are eliminated at the first common parent data is consolidated from base level entities to parent entities financial management maintains the calculation status for every scenario year period entity parent and value dimension combination the calculation status indicates whether data needs to be calculated translated or consolidated the table describes common calculation status okay cn ch tr okay sc okay nd these are the status specified for the combinations of the scenario year period entity parent and value dimension so coming to ok status none of the data for the specified scenario year period entity and value dimension has changed so cn needs consolidation ch needs calculation tr the entity needs translation ok sc okay but but system has changed a system change that may affect the data has occurred for example the type of account may have changed ok nd which is no data translation converts values from one currency to another when you consolidate currency translation occurs only if the parent currency is different than the child currency the translated value is stored in the parent currency member two application settings determine how the system translate the values for asset and liability accounts values are translated using the rate account that is specified by the default rate for balance setting for revenue and expense account values are translated using the rate account that is specified by the default rate for flow setting so consolidation options there are three types of consolidation options in the process of gathering data from dependent entities and aggregating the data to parent entities as a part of that process consolidation for all descendant entities and all prior time periods within the same year is run if it was not previously run the consolidation process runs all calculation rule functions for each affected entity in value and translation runs necessary to convert from child entities to parent entity currencies the child the, the consolidation options are defined in the table so consolidate consolidate all consolidate all with data consolidate coming to the consolidate available for any parent entity with the status of cn or cnnd consolidate is the most efficient option because only those entities that require consolidation are updated consolidate all available for any parent entity regardless of its status consolidate all consolidate all intersection of the descendants whether or not data exists consolidate all with data available for parent entity regardless of its status consolidate all with data consolidates every dependent entity that contains data regardless of status so, so to summarize describe the consolidation process how to check the calculation status how to translation 
how to translate data and methods of consolidating data. So finally, we are reviewing the data which is loaded and approving the data. So process management is a management of the review and approval of financial management. You, you use process management to review, promote, submit, approve, reject and publish process units. For example, you can use it to submit budget plans and have, have them approved efficiently and to transfer ownership of data. In a centralized environment, you can also use it to provide review control and to ensure data privacy. So for the purpose of review, data is organized into process units. A process unit is the combination of data for specific scenario, year, period, entity and value. So process unit pass through a number of process states during the review cycle, which is not started. First pass, review level 1, 2 and 2, 2, 9, submitted, approved and published. So coming to not started, the review supervisor has not yet started the process unit and only the supervisor can enter data. The process unit is started and is in the initial state for data to be entered by users who have the proper access rights in the first pass. So review level 1, 2, so on. The process unit is at the designated review level. Submitted, the process unit was submitted and is ready for final approval. Approved, the process unit was approved. Published, the process unit was published for public access. You view the status for process units in the process control panel. The, process, the panel contains the following elements. Process control toolbar, process unit, top member, entity, calculation status, ECA status, review level and the status of that review level which is pass or fail. So process units must have a status of OK, OKSC or no data before you can promote them. For the example on the slide, California Plant 1, California West Sales and California West Admin can be promoted because the calculation status is OK. California and California 1000 sorry here on the uh, image which is a uh, bit wrong so California 1000 California plant 1 and California West admin can be promoted because their calculation status is okay and um, California and California West sales cannot be promoted because they need to be calculated or consolidated. You can promote a parent only to a level that is less than or equal to the lowest level of its children. Okay, Submitting a process unit to the final stage of the review process indicates that the data is ready for approval. The default review action is to promote a process unit to the next level. However, the submitter can skip levels of review and go directly to process level before final approval. If the calculation status of the process unit is OK, OK, SE or no data, review supervisors can approve the process unit. After the process unit is approved, you can publish it to make the data available for viewing by all the users. To summarize, describe process management, identify process states, how to view the process unit status, how to promote process units. So coming to analyzing and reporting on data. So SmartView provides a common Microsoft Office interface for financial management planning as per Hyperion for reporting and analysis and Oracle BIEE. Using SmartView, you can view, import, manipulate, distribute and share data from these data sources in Microsoft Excel, Old, Outlook and PowerPoint. SmartView provides a single interface that enables you to leverage multiple products simultaneously. Using SmartView, you can query financial data and create reports by using Excel. Import reporting and analysis content reports and graphs into Excel, Word and PowerPoint. Open financial management forms in Excel. With SmartView, you can open data forms created in financial management web directly in Excel. You can perform the same range of functions in SmartView as in the financial management application, such as calculating and submitting data and adding cell text. In addition to opening financial management data forms, you can use ad hoc analysis to analyze financial data. Ad hoc analysis enables you to perform the following actions. Create a grid, select dimension members and change the point of view to analyze the data. Zoom in and zoom out of options members to expand or contact the next level. Keep or remove members to display only those members that, are, that you want to see. 
You can even create free form and ad hoc queries by typing member names directly on the spreadsheet. For data presentation, Word or PowerPoint is often preferable to Excel. Smart View enables you to copy data points from Excel and paste them into Word or PowerPoint, creating linked views, dynamic data between applications. Data points retain their original Excel-based query information, thus enabling users to analyze data. Word and PowerPoint can contain data points from multiple data sources such as SBS and financial within one document. Oracle Hyperion Financial Reporting Fusion Edition is bundled with financial management. It enables you to design reports that retrieve and display financial management data. With financial reporting, you can design traditional reports formats such as cash management reports, profit and loss statements, and balance sheets. You can also design non-traditional formats for financial analytical data. The format can include text and graphics. So to summarize the course, we have seen in the demo how to describe financial management, how to describe applications, how to enter and calculate data, how to enter intercompany data, how to dis uh, describe journal entries and the journal review process, methods of consolidating data, how to analyze and enter the data in SmartView and describe how to view financial reports.